if you do what you love, you will never have to work a day in your life. But is this really the case? To what extent does the line between passion and career fade, turning what you once loved into a monotonous routine? Perhaps life and work are fundamentally interconnected, and our understanding of them is flawed. Does life include both work and love, each indispensable to the other? After all, even love requires constant nurturing and effort, not just fleeting emotions. Let's dig deeper into this idea. Greetings! I often present a slow, serene lifestyle online, but the reality is that everyone works hard to achieve the joy that their efforts bring. Regardless of whether your job is creative or traditional, it requires significant effort. However, if you learn to be fully present and appreciate the process in all its beauty and messiness, work can actually make you feel more fulfilled and less rushed. The concept of loving what you do can definitely make the creative journey more enjoyable. However, there is a common misconception that love, like slow, means easy. This is far from the truth. You don't have to love every aspect of what you do. It's completely normal to have parts you don't like, have challenging days, or feel rushed at times. These moments of struggle really help, adding variety and depth to your experience. Accepting the entirety of your work, the ups and downs, can bring a deeper sense of fulfillment. It's about finding joy in the journey, even when it's difficult. The challenges you face are essential. They contribute to a richer, more diverse experience. Without them, you wouldn't have the opportunity to grow and learn. A life where you are constantly growing, where every effort, every challenge, and every joyful moment contributes to your overall growth. This perspective allows you to see work not as a burden, but as an important part of your journey. When you see work and love intertwined, you begin to appreciate the effort that goes into both. Love requires work, and work can be one and the same. Everything hinges on intention. When you encounter something that brings you tranquility and joy, whether it's a video, a piece of art, a book, or anything else, it's likely the result of someone's deliberate effort. This is true for many aspects of life. Consider the wilderness. It can make you feel liberated and invigorated. Or think of a beautifully manicured garden where you can wander among blooming flowers and majestic trees. There's a hidden truth in both scenarios. Someone has taken the time to care for these spaces. Someone has trimmed the grass to clear a path for your walks. Someone has removed litter from a seemingly untouched wild area. Someone planted those trees centuries ago, now part of a magnificent ancient forest. Does the fact that nature is cared for by humans make it any less genuine? Imagine if no one tended to nature. Left to its own devices, two outcomes are likely. Either we would pollute the environment to a disastrous extent, or nature would reclaim everything in a wild, chaotic manner. The reality unfolds slowly between these extremes. The beauty, peace, and serenity we cherish occur in this delicate balance. You can't clean something without creating some mess elsewhere. You can't live a serene and peaceful life without first creating that environment through hard work and overcoming chaos. Every action brings with it some degree of disorder. Learning something new involves making countless mistakes along the way. The intention behind actions shapes our experiences. When you find peace and harmony in something, remember that someone's mindful care made it possible. The wilderness you explore freely, the gardens you admire, all have been touched by human hands. This doesn't diminish their beauty. Rather, it enhances it, showing the interconnectedness of effort and nature. The slow, peaceful moments we seek are the result of intentional acts often unseen and unappreciated. To live peacefully and slowly, one must first create that space, often through chaotic and strenuous efforts. Just as a garden flourishes through careful tending, our lives require similar care. 
Embrace the messiness that comes with creation, for it is through this process that beauty and tranquility emerge. Acknowledge the unseen labor behind serene environments and let it inspire you to cultivate your own spaces of peace, both internally and externally. Finding a harmonious balance between activity and tranquility requires deliberate steps. It starts with pausing during your journey to breathe deeply and soak in the surroundings. This intentional pause allows you to reconnect with the present moment before proceeding with clarity and purpose. In our fast-paced world, characterized by chaos and impulsiveness, it's easy to lose oneself in the whirlwind of tasks and distractions. This can lead to a sense of being constantly overwhelmed and detached from the present. Embracing a slower, more deliberate approach to living becomes not just a choice, but a necessity, a way to navigate through the inherent vulnerabilities, anxieties, and frustrations that arise in life. Creating an environment conducive to clarity and peace involves carving out regular moments of solitude and reflection. Engage in activities like journaling, introspection, mindfulness exercises, and immersing oneself in nature. These practices not only foster a sense of calm, but also nurture creativity and mental clarity. During these quiet interludes, insights and inspirations often surface spontaneously. It's essential to be receptive to these moments of clarity without the distractions of technology or the pressure to constantly produce. While it may be tempting to document every thought, sometimes the most valuable insights come from simply allowing thoughts to flow freely and observing them without judgment. Allowing yourself the space and time to slow down and savor the present, you cultivate a deeper connection with your surroundings and inner self. This deliberate approach not only enhances productivity, but also enriches the quality of experiences. It's about finding the balance between doing and being, taking purposeful action, while also honoring the need for stillness and reflection in a world that often demands constant movement. When encountering a beautiful flower, resist the urge to pluck it hastily. Instead, take a moment to appreciate its allure and the exquisite interplay of sunlight filtering through its delicate petals. Allow yourself to become immersed in the serenity of the moment. Creativity thrives on a reciprocal relationship between inspiration and action, a perpetual cycle. Both before and after capturing these fleeting moments, it's vital to fully engage with life through your senses. Expressing gratitude to the natural world, whether to trees or flowers, might initially seem unconventional, yet it anchors the experience in reality and enhances its significance. However, amidst these serene encounters, daily life often steers us towards mundane tasks and screen-bound obligations. Embracing life in its entirety means confronting its less glamorous aspects with determination and acceptance. Thank you for tuning in. May this reflection ignite a spark of inspiration within you.